Vince here. With most of the design preparation work complete, we are now ready for the fun part, routing. Assuming you don't want to auto route your design, we will show you some additional beneficial setup points as well as show you the different routing options available. Prior to routing, it may be beneficial to set up a few more features that will ultimately assist in routing. First is to turn off and colorize the power and ground nets. This will greatly help in simplifying the congested view into a more manageable one. Turning off the connection lines, or RATs as they are referred to, is done in the Constraint Manager in the Property section under Net General Properties under the No RAT column. Simply locate the voltages to turn off and set the No RAT property to ON. Colorizing the nets is done through the color dialog using the nets radio selection. Assuming a power and ground net group has been previously set up, select it using the net group selection in the type dropdown. Expand the power and ground net group within the view pane using the plus sign to the left of the power and ground name and colorize the different nets to suit your needs. We are now ready to add copper routes to our design and the simplest method is to use the etch edit app mode. Simply click on any pad with a connection line attached and routing will commence automatically. Clicking once on a previously routed track will slide that C-line section. Use the options pane to control the routing layer, via size and trace width as well as other routing options. Available vias are added to the design using the Constraint Manager Physical tab under the Physical Constraint Set All Layer section. Double click in the appropriate cell in the vias column and add the necessary vias from your pad stack library. The order they are added here is the order they will appear in the options pane while you are routing. Note that for etch edit app mode to work effectively, all elements in the fine pane should be checked on. App modes make a designer's life so much easier. We prefer that designers use the etch edit app mode, but if you so desire, you can also manually add C-line sections using the add connect command, shortcut F3. Invoke the command and choose any connection line to route. While in etch edit app mode, selecting any net that is one half of a differential pair will result in the program automatically selecting both nets and commence routing in diff pair mode. The routing parameters will be based on the settings previously entered in the constraint manager. Another hidden gem is the bus router. Simply select multiple connection lines, then right mouse button and select Add Connect. Multiple signals can be routed in unison. Routing with Cadence products is that easy.